Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of War Tales. Last episode, we finally dealt with the bandit's lair located out here. And with that cleared out, we still have one more thing to, to try and do before we continue on with the main mission, and that is fighting Colonel Alexa Grathen. This is not going to be easy. We fought one of these incredibly powerful being. Uh, foes once before, and they are dangerous. We're gonna give this one a try and see how it goes. Ooh, more wood. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need a couple of uh, pitons in order to reach him. So yeah, this is not gonna be easy. On the plus side, we have gotten uh, very good gear on all of our guys, which I am very happy about. Yeah, we're going to need a couple pitons in order to get to him. Uh, I, and I think we do have some. I don't know how many. Oh! Oh, good. We can uh, mine some more iron ore, which I very much want. Ah, missed that one. Yeah, a little more iron ore is good. Nothing else we can do in here. Okay. So it's going to be one piton to go down to him and one piton to attack. Okay. How many pitons do we have? We have three. Going to need a few more than that, but there's one. Got a few things we can gather here. Two iron, and I thought I saw something else. Yes, there is. There's two flowers. Oh. The legion spares me the dishonor of being chased down by my own brothers in arms. That is most gracious on the general's part. The usurper finally shows a shred of decency. Unfortunately for you, that will not be enough to make me surrender. Well, we're still going to fight you. This is not going to be easy, as I have already said several times. Okay. We've only got five points. Elites are unique enemies who can, attack, who can act more than once during a round. Pay close attention to the turn order. So, holy crap, you have a lot. Let's see. Elite, move to a spot. Deals 40 damage to all the units in the area. The damage is shared among the units hit, who share the same number of bloodshed applications. Loses one health per application at the end of their turn, and is then removed. So, if we get a lot of people in her attack, the information is shared among them. Okay. And when this unit has less than 50% health, they gain brutality. Okay, so... I don't know if we can engage her. But we need to do as much damage as we can, and this is not going to be easy. Um... So, Argoon, you are going to be able to do a lot of damage at the beginning because of the armor they ha she has. Fly might be able to help. Tiny might be able to help as well. Rufus... I think she's... Okay, Elite can use multiple abilities in the same round. DOTs are greatly reduced and only triggered at the end of the round. Cannot be captured. Okay. Damage taken increased by 30. Oh! Oh, yes! That's because of, uh... Who is it? Alani? Yes, Alani! Start of each round applies fragility. Okay, that's going to help out a lot. Thank you. This spear wall is not actually going to help. We need to keep our rangers far away so that they can do damage. Alarin, actually. Getting a first shot from Alarin would help out a lot because it would be a guaranteed crit. And do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's a guaranteed crit. It's the only chance you have, so Alarin has to be the first one to attack. Deekel would be able to get a free attack from Tiny. Ostagon might not be able to do much. 
Hackert would be able to frenzy from behind. Gurlin would be able to uh, to apply. No, Gurlin would not be able to do very much. Burnmower would be able to get encouragement on them, on everyone who she attacks. Clistruda would not be able to do very much. And Alani, if we can engage her, which I don't think we can, that would be good. Okay, so I'm going to put Alarin back here. You can attack her from here. High chance of hitting Argoon, so I gotta move you. Um, but Argoon actually has a lot of range. I can put Argoon here and Alani here, and you two will both still be able to reach her, maybe. Okay, so we'll send Alarin in first, then Fly. This is going to be... No. Alarin and then Burnmower. Who can get protection on a lot of our guys. That seems like a good idea. These guys will be very protected. And I'll try and get you to engage. Okay, we'll try it. First shot. Lot of damage. And bleeding, that's not going to help. Okay, you. Protection on all of you. Head in. Team strike. She is engaged. Good. And a deflection means she's guaranteed to be attacking you. And did nothing. Perfect. Okay. So, now that we know about this... Fly... We need, uh, we need a bunch of galvanized troops. Is there a better spot? There is not. But you can get over to here. Galvanize. Get her attention. We're going to be surrounding her. Destabilizing shot. Taunt her. Because I want her to be attacking you. And a slice. I think we can do this. Okay. Next up. Argoon, you can do a lot of damage with a ram. And she's surrounded, which helps out a lot. There. Poison impact. And that'll do. Now, fall back for now. Damage is shared, but they're fine, and that was a counter. Perfect! Okay. Rufus isn't going to be as useful. Let's see. Alani. Oh my god, you could smoke... No. You are not going to smoke screen. Not until Fly is going to be able to get another shot before she does. Hackert? There's an idea. Head on over. Frenzy. Lot of damage. And a stab. She's out of armor! The stab was fantastic. Now, fall back over to here. We need space for our bear. Alright, Tiny, you're coming in. Get a monstrous swipe in there. And fall back. Okay. Clistruda. You can get a shot in here. Go with a maim. We can do this. You're not going to cutting Maelstrom. That's not going to help. That's a free counter. Beautiful. That is a lot of bloodsheds, so we're going to be taking a lot of damage very soon. Okay, uh... Looks like you guys aren't really going to be able to do much. Well, you can. This is something that would actually... 70%. Give it a try. Okay, I'll take it. Deacle. 
You also don't have a very good shot. No, you're not going to shoot. You're just going to wait. Could have gone with the free attack of opportunity. More bloodshed, but they've taken a lot. They're going to die. Very soon, in fact. Alani. In fact, I think we can finish him off. I have an idea. Alani, head on over. Smokescreen. That was beautiful. And we've got crowns and splitter. Alexa was deeply affected by the war, so when she forged splitter, she swore to only ever use it for chopping wood. A few days later, she beheaded a lord of Alazar. Slice and dice deals 90% damage to all the units in the area, and shared among the units hit who share the same amount of bloodshed applications. That is absolutely fantastic. And Rufus leveled up. Glad to hear it. So, hmm. You've got the good willpower. You're fine on that. Where, where are you getting your willpower from? Willpower is equipment and the loot. Okay. Um... Which equipment? Ah, Lucilla Lund's medallion. We may want to replace that sometime in the future, so... But you're gonna keep the loot forever. One point in... Well, you know what? We'll go with the two, give you some extra constitution. How about that? Okay. And... Clostruda. Is this better? You lose the maim, which is... 26 damage to all units in the area, and bleeding on a crit. Splitter is... Just generally better. 28 damage instead of 26, a little more strength, and bloodshed to applications on people. Oh, now I get it. Now I get it. The amount of damage she does is the amount of bloodshed applications she puts on. Oh, God! She would have been absolutely terrifying if we finished that round. Oh, I didn't even realize. Okay, well, Splitter, you are going to be used by Clistruda. You've got a very nice weapon, and it is covered in blood. <laughs> okay, so the great ghost axe, we're going to have to sell that. Can we climb back up? Or do we have to put down another, uh... Yeah, we got to put down another piton, which, honestly... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Ah, we can use it. Okay, now let's go and turn this in. Mission complete. And I think that is basically all the important missions in this area. Yeah, for the most part. So let's head over. Get a lot more money, 787. Alright. So. Uh. Any repairing we can do? Be careful. If you go in Eight the coins head, worth. Sure. Kind of we can sell this ruby and the sapphire. That's gonna go in storage. And we can sell the Great Ghost Axe, I think. That's perfectly fine by me. It served its purpose. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, we can leave there. Exit here. Head into St. Lenade's Inn. Might she be looking for and collect the bounties. Beautiful. Okay. We're not going to go to New Astral. I don't know where the Garusa clan is, and it seems like it's dangerous. I think we can leave all these uh, missions alone for now. So, we need to take a rest here. Let's have a, sa a song so that we can at least get back some money for that. And there we go, a bit of free coin. 
This inn is and we can sell that and that line. for a little Let's extra. And now time. another rest. We're going to need to pay our companions next rest. It's perfectly fine and understandable. Okay. Let us head to the other town. Yeah, we can head to the other town to deposit a few items that I want to deposit. You know, as tempting as it is, I am not going to uh, go after the ghost. Go after the uh, the ghost pack, because. Nice as the gear we have is, I think we're fine on gear for now. Well, I say that, but your ringleader's tabard could be better. Eh, we're fine. Right, quick stop in Marheim. Let me just deposit a few things. Let's see, so these will go in, and all of the coal. We don't need any of the coal. The rest of this, I think we're fine on for now. Yep, we are fine on. Our weight is perfectly manageable. Even though we have... That's a, that's a pole arm. Goon's two-handed mace, I don't care about that one. And a two-handed morning star. Right, because it's targeting, I didn't want it. And this is a throw, which I don't want to deal with. Does a lot less damage. Yeah, I don't want crop staying. Okay, I could have tried putting on some oils. That would have been interesting. Uh, take another two pitons, just so we have them. You might need them, who knows. Um, I think we're fine aside from that for the most part. Okay. So, with that dealt with, I don't think there's anything more I need to do at the moment, so... Oh wait, can I craft another item? Now that I think about it. Oh no, we need to learn it first, right. Okay, never mind that. Okay. Oh, that's a bounty thing. So, with that done, the next thing we need to do... ...is head up here... ...and learn about the next mission that we got. The main mission in this area. We got enough, in, we got enough time, we can at least start learning it. Let me drop a save first. All right, so Marheim Castle. They wish to speak with us here. Broker Clemens Ald Marheim. Rosal Loop told me of your discovery. If I didn't trust her, I wouldn't believe a word of this tale. A single plant smothering thousands of others. Mysterious men sowing its seeds and willing to kill to hide their misdeeds. We must find out who they are working for and root out this tuber from our soil. And I want you to take the lead. You know what the plant looks like, which will buy us some precious time. Indeed. The apothecary's apprentice has just sent me the recipe for a potion that can kill any plant. Take it. We will need it to eradicate this parasite. A weeding potion, eh? All right. Looks like we're probably going to need to make some of that. Uh, where is it? All the way at the bottom. Pour it onto a plant, this potion will burn it from root to leaf. So we need some salt, some wine, and a vial. Okay. We should probably make a few of those. Let's head back to town to do so. We can buy some, uh, vials from, uh, the merchant. Yeah, we can pass on this. We should probably buy more food recipes. It's not the worst idea. Right, back to town. Oop! Don't want to run too far, too long. 
Oh, yeah, those are uh, three locations we need to go. So, yeah, we'll make uh, three of them. That may be enough. Uh, to the clinic. It's all so confusing. I need to, to buy three. Who would do this to my family, and why? You know what? Just for the sake of learning the recipes, teach me those. Thank you. Not that I'm ever really gonna make these. Most likely, they need pristine essence too. Ugh. Anyway, we are going to make three weeding potions, which will get us some knowledge. We only have nine Gosenberg wines. We'll need to find more. Oh, what do we got here? Paths. Five tier one alchemy recipes. Good. Can we buy more Gosenberg wine from you? I'm concerned about we can. disease. It's confined to Vertrus at the moment, but... Imagine if it spreads... Oh, no, we still did have plenty of Gosenberg wine. My mistake. Okay, no worries. Okay, so... There's one to the south here. One to the west here, and one northwest here. We'll head to the one in the south first. Probably gonna need to rest, which... We have plenty of food, we'll be able to. Oh, damn it, I ran too long. Yeah, it must be in this, uh, this wine area. Yep, that must be it. Let me drop down a save just in case we're about to have a fight. Alright, let's inspect and get rid of this. Yes, pour it on. And there's a fight! What did you pour on that plant? Why is it wilting so quickly? So, three Sagittariuses, two Sentries, two Zealots, and another Sentry. Well, we do outnumber them. By quite a bit, actually. Alright, let's see here. We do have a fight. Sentry, Sentry, Zealot, Zealot. Sentry, Sagittarius, Ijastart. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. So all the Sagittariuses are over here, as is Ijastart and a Sentry, and the Zealots are all over here. Which we could do a lot to. Hmm. We could do quite a bit to them. You know what? Hmm. Tell you what. The last episode went long. I'm going to let this episode go short, so give me a moment. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Shorter episode, I know, but next episode we'll be dealing with this main mission we have with uh, taking care of the crops that are strangling out the, uh, whatever they're called, the vineyards. So that'll be taken care of in the next episode. Till then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Alaren, Alani, Argun, Gerlin, Hackert, Rufus, Austin, Gon, Clistruda, Birdmauer, Deekle, and me. This has been a Let's Play of War Tales, and I shall see you all next time.